Okay, guys, we're going to try and do another screencastify today. Um, the difference is today we're going to do our screencastify and then we're going to try and edit our screencastify. We're going to try and do something different to it, uh, which might be a bit tough depending on what you've got on your computer, but we'll give it a go anyway. Now, the first thing is your screencastify automatically sends to me. So I see it automatically. It sends me an email, it sends me a link, and I have a folder that it goes into. But at the end of your screencastify, when you've finished making it, um, it will download. So it will actually create a download. And you just have to hit the download button. Uh, last week, if you look back, um, I think it was, yes, Zach Merck created the download. And once you've downloaded it to your computer, it'll probably go into your downloads folder. And then it's just a matter of grabbing that download or copying that download and sticking it somewhere that you uh, that you can find. For example, I did one earlier, so I'm not going to show you this one. And basically, I stuck it in my ICT folder. Week 8, there it is, recording. And that was just a test recording. So what we're going to do this week, guys, is you're going to do your screencastify, and it will come to me. And then you're going to download that video, put it into a folder, and you're going to try and edit it. Now, if you're using Windows, most of uh, Windows has very basic uh, video editing software. Usually, most computers will have iMovie, or they'll have a thing called Video Editor, and I'll post a YouTube video next to this or under this on video editor if your computer has video editor. Um, this is Movie Maker and this is my video that I did before, a test video. You can see the bald head and most operate the same way. It means just getting your video into this area here. There'll be a link button and you hit that link button and you can bring your video in or you can go here and add videos and add the file that you want, and it's then in your library. And then you're going to do something to the video. Now, I'm going to come back to that because when you come back to school, I've just had this put on the computers, and this is another video editing, editing piece of software, but it's far more complicated, which is called DaVinci Resolve. This is free, so you could try downloading at home if you wanted to, if you enjoy mucking around with video, which I do. It's very time-consuming, though. Um, but this is what you'll be using when you come back to school. But for today, I just want you to use what is on your computer. Now, if you're using an iPad or a Mac, uh, iMovie is your best bet. If you're on a Windows computer, then Movie Maker or Video Editor. Have a search for those two. So here's the, the video that I made earlier. That's, that's what I did earlier, and now so I'm going to stop it, and now I'm just going to edit it. So that's what I would have received. Now what you're going to do is do something to it. Now there's lots of things you can do to it. You can add effects. You can add animations. I don't want you to spend too long, and I only want you to do it this for a couple of minutes. I'm going to go to edit here because I know you'll enjoy this one, and I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed it up one and a half times. All right, so I've sped that up. Now, what I'll have to do is I would have to save the project. But remember, if you're saving it, it's saving it as a Movie Maker file. For me to be able to look at this, you have to export it. You have to send your file to a standard MP4 format. That's the hard part. So file, publish movie. Most have a publish, uh, a publish function. And from there, I will publish. I don't want to publish it to the web. I don't want to save it. Um, 
there will be somewhere here. I could, I could go to YouTube, I could send it straight to Facebook, but there will be an export function somewhere that you can send this out to an MP4. And I should have checked for this before because I'm struggling to find where that export function is. Yeah, it should be in Publish Movie. Mm, Manager Services. Right in there. Mm, 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 mm. Doing really well here. Well, how's this? I will post this. Oh, here we go. Save movie for computer. There it is. It's actually under save movie for computer and MP4. Okay, you want to save it as an MP4 and then you would save it. So I'm going to go to where my original folder was. 220 ICT here and I'll save that as an MP4. Okay, finally found it. So now I have to look around as well. I'm going to close that because I don't want to play it. Now, all you have to do then is go into the classroom uh, assignment. So I will create an assignment within classroom and I will attach that file to there. And you have finished. So if you go into your classroom assignment, and you can attach it to the project that I set there. And then I will be able to see your original video that you sent me from the email that gets automatically sent to me. Like there, this is what it'll look like. You're, when you, as soon as you make it screencast by submit, I can see it. Here's my original one. There it is, and that's what it'll look like when I see yours. And then you're going to attach your edited one into Google Classroom. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, so two things. Screencast if I submit, just one minute, two minutes, we're saying hi again, I don't care. Download that when you're finished, because as soon as I finish this and go stop sharing my screen, if I go stop recording, it will allow me to download it. So as soon as I hit this, unfortunately I can't show it to you, because as soon as I hit stop recording, you won't see it. Download it save it, find a video editor on your computer, edit your video, attach it to Google Classroom. If you can do that, you are a star. Next week, we're going to get into more video editing using Resolve, which I showed you before. Good luck.